pilgrimage from Warsaw to Częstochowa. Częstochowa, this is the place in Poland when for us Catholics there is a, our national shrine of our Blessed Virgin Mary. People in Poland turn to pilgrimages because all people in the world have such a custom and this is also a specially European tradition. On the 15th of August there is a climax of all pilgrimages from Poland. Pilgrims come to Częstochowa and this is the Feast of Assumption. Since 2000, year 2000, we wanted to do something special and the idea was that prisoners they will participate in foot pilgrimage and they will push wheelchairs with handicapped people to Częstochowa. I work uh, in Warsaw as a border officer. There were five cars which turned out they were stolen cars. I confirmed the document of the cars were true. That's my part of the guild. There was a party. It was uh, the beginning of summer. We were about uh, to celebrate the end of uh, the school year. Uh, I caused an accident, a car accident under the influence of alcohol, in which accident my girlfriend died. So, this is why I got into prison. I found myself in prison, mainly because of uh, thieves and robberies I committed. I altogether had uh, seven sentences, which further amounted to 11 years. Around 17 centuries ago, an unknown artist created a portrait of the Virgin Mary with child. Now known as the Black Madonna, this icon has long been Poland's holiest relic. For the past 300 years, hundreds of thousands have been joining this annual pilgrimage to the relic's home in the city of Czestochowa. We as Prison Fellowship Poland are primarily in charge of the spiritual guidance provided for the prisoners. They are not very clear about the significance of the pilgrimage at the very beginning of it. They seem to be very hesitant, rather reluctant, but in time they gain this security and can join the personal transformation to its fullest. This is Philip's first pilgrimage, and after his time spent in prison, he's finding it difficult to adjust, not only to the newfound freedom, but also to the reactions of other pilgrims he now walks, talks, sleeps and eats with. The first two days, uh, it's been a kind of shock. So my prior assumptions were that I will spend some time in the open air, uh, and maybe I, I will help someone, but this has become something really deeper for me through experience once again this spending time with other people they perceive me as a normal person not a prisoner not an inmate the pilgrimage lasts for 10 days and covers over 300 kilometers of polish countryside people in the villages along the route join in by giving the pilgrims welcome food and a place to sleep each night. All the pilgrims have the freedom to come and go as they please, yet escape seems to be the furthest thing from the inmates' minds. Leszek is one of the youngest inmates on the pilgrimage. 
czy nie kusiło mnie to, żebym uciekł. I had no such a temptation to run away somewhere from the pilgrimage. I had a task given uh, which I needed to complete. Uh, so um, that was my whole dedication. I go with my family, with my wife, with my daughter. I am also taking care of one handicapped person. That I am able to help the needy person, the handicapped person, and I am providing the care around the clock is the most significant thing of the pilgrimage for me so far. I really recognize that this walking gives them a lot of time to consider, to consider what is the most important in our life. This situation really helped prisoners understand that they really would like to finish with crime and they really would like to start normal life, proper life, life dedicated to God and to the another person. This is also the first time that Christoph has taken part in the pilgrimage. And in the beginning, he was unsure what the experience would bring. I'm here because of the help of prison fellowship. Being in fact a free man here, it is really amazing for me. You start to forget the things that have no importance here, things from the external world. You focus strictly on spiritual matters. Being released for the pilgrimage has also given Christoph the chance to spend time with his daughter, 12-year-old Magda. It is my additional joy, really true joy, we can spend the time together and be together 24 hours per day. She is taking active part in the things we are doing, so she is pushing welchers, and that's the thing which provides me with further joy. We are here to help uh, other people, and, and uh, that is uh, real, real satisfaction. But uh, on the top of that, uh, we for ourselves have a chance of uh, coming down a little bit, to slow down, to think about the priorities. This reciprocity, so on the one hand, drug prisoners who enjoy the chance of, of re-entering their society, their community, and on the other hand, there are people who are handicapped. We may help them reach their destination. We could feel a spiritual communion between us. We could feel and establish the spiritual communion with the people in all villages along the road of pilgrimage. We could see them waving, greeting us with a special kind. It is the day before arrival in Chesterhova, and everyone takes part in their own small forgiveness ceremony. The priest breaks bread, and each pilgrim shares a prayer of personal forgiveness, readying themselves for their meeting with the Black Madonna. Our pilgrimage is going to climax tomorrow. We are going to reach the monastery and be able to see the miraculous icon of our Blessed Virgin Mary. So yes, that's the destination, the most significant moment. The thing is that we need to be really tough guys here in prison. That's the completely different story on the pilgrimage because you you have to gain some humility. Uh, you can observe easily the uh, disabilities of people who are on wheelchairs, uh, and you have to change your perception.
naprawdę it was a very touching moment for me to meet the mother of god there in Częstochowa in the shrine I prayed, not only for my girlfriend, who suffered, who died in the car accident, but also for her family, in order to gain a forgiveness or absolution from them. So the moment I reached my destination uh, brought me huge happiness, but the happiness was not only because of my own sort of satisfaction, personal one, but also because of my, of the person I protected uh, on the route of the pilgrimage. Uh, she could not reach Częstochowa on food, so her happiness was the greatest reward I could, I could ever be given. During the pilgrimage, I could enjoy my freedom. I could stay in the open air, and that was very nice because uh, it was a time of contemplation. The only difficult moment came when I needed to get back here, into the prison. The return is a tough thing to, to, to experience. Uh, because you come back to this place of isolation, of total seclusion. I have strong feeling that because of what happened, I can be a better man. For sure, I would like to be released from this prison facility and find myself back with my family. Actually, uh, the greatest teachers on pilgrimage were the handicapped because they taught us uh, that we can actually do something with our lives. We can transform our lives and maybe repair what we did, but they are stuck on wheelchairs. So there's literally nothing you can do with it and they have to deal with it every day. I can really feel that God is together with me. I can feel His presence deeply in my heart. Now I came to realize that He is the one who can help me to survive the period till the end of my sentence. And then live my life forward, further into the future.